Our community has been hit hard by a recent string of deadly acts being tied to domestic violence. The most recent in Siena, Fort Bend County. A man shot and killed, investigators say, by his girlfriend's ex-husband. Channel 2's Taisha Walker live in that neighborhood tonight. Taisha, you have learned that there were domestic violence calls to deputies involving this couple before. Is that right? That is correct, Dominique, and I'll get to that in a second. But the family of the man who was murdered in the Siena neighborhood just yesterday by his girlfriend's ex-husband say they recently warned him to end that relationship. Now that family is currently en route from the West Coast, from the East Coast, from Washington, D.C. to Texas to take his body back home. I can't believe it. Marlene Hurt Ecom says she hasn't slept in the last 24 hours. What was he thinking? You know, at that moment when he got the first bullet. Her 28-year-old nephew, Martez Hurt, was gunned down in his car Monday morning outside of his girlfriend's Sienna home by her ex-husband. 32-year-old Matthew Jacobs has been charged with Hurt's murder. This past March, Fort Bend County deputies received three domestic violence calls concerning Jacobs and his ex-wife. When he told me that the guy followed him to his house, he said, I'm on it. He know where I live at. I said, Montez, you need to leave the girl alone. Hurt Ecom says her nephew promised her last week that he would leave. Tragically, it wasn't soon enough. He posted on social media yesterday morning, quote, you deserve all good things life has to offer. Less than an hour later, he was dead. It is dangerous when you leave. You're right to be scared, but we are here to help. The Fort Bend Women's Center is the only domestic violence resource in the county. They've helped nearly 700 survivors year to date. Once the stay at home order was lifted, Survivors were able to get more access to phones where they could talk privately and were able to call for help. In Harris County, domestic violence related deaths are up. There have been 24 deaths compared to 17 in 2019. He owe us that. Hurt Ecom says she's traveling to Texas to bring her nephew's body back to his native D.C. If she could speak to Jacobs, she says she would ask why. He owe us an explanation. You gonna go out there and walk to his car and shoot him up like that? Hertz family has started a GoFundMe account to assist with funeral arrangements. It has already been widely shared here in Siena. If you would like to help, we'll include that link on our website as well as resources for domestic violence survivors. Reporting live in Siena and Fort Bend County, Taisha Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News.